So what we've done with our table cover is we made it a central point for when engaging in tag, capture the floor, protect the floor. So this divides team A and team B. And as you come in, the operator stands at the end, communicates what they're doing. They already have their headgear on. And they, they come here before they unholster their weapons. They do a quick explanation. We have Spanish rules on the end, English in the middle. Now they come in and everything would be in the down position ready to pull. After you explain the rules, they go play. At the end, you blow your whistle and it's holster your weapons. They come back, you pop your tops, and you fill. I'll show you that in a minute. The bottom is set up for charging. You have eight on bottom for charging, eight on top for playing, and therefore 32 guns to make a kit. But by doing that, you can run constantly, 24 hours a day if you want. When you go to fill, you keep your fill station over here, and you just have to take your fills, and you go out, like this, this one's empty, and it's quick. You can fill the whole side in less than a minute. And literally, yeah, and you drop a few balls. You can get a more narrow neck here. But it's a quick fill, and then they're ready to go. And as soon as they're all ready to go, the next group's coming in. If you're doing a one-man operation, this is just way efficient and easy for him. They basically will use the front table to close up the area. He walks them in, they get their headgear on, they get over here, they get instructions, they play, they holster, they walk out while they're putting their headgear away and cleaning their headgear. You're feeling over here, you go back out and grab the next group. I recommend two if you're gonna have a line. For rentals, definitely two, just for presentation and safety. For paper play on a slow hour, one's fine. On a busy day, you're gonna want two to make your big bucks.